Okay, not the BoxyCharm box, it's on top of the Influencer box that the Kate Somerville oil came in. Okay, thank you guys <laughs> for tuning into my channel. I'm trying to get this right. I have a binder here that's like this thick, then I have the Influencer box that's like this thick, the tripod, not that thick, the, in the tripod on top of that because when I'm looking at landscape view, without the camp, the recording being on, I look like I am in the middle of the screen, everything's perfect, and as soon as I hit record, I don't know what it does uh, to the picture, but like, as you, you'll see at the end, because I put both videos as bloopers, me trying to get it where my face is right here. And landscape is weird. I'm still getting used to this light also because to see the camera looks like I'm looking that way. That was weird. Okay, what this video is about is how to stop buying so much makeup and makeup products. And I say that because I realized today, I didn't realize it today, I just accepted today that I need to stop purchasing items when I found one that I like. For instance, I liked um, the hourglass powder. I should have just stopped. Just stop. Just stop. Um, there was a sample of the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder Translucent. I tried that. I ended up using up the entire one. It was a small one like this one. I like that. Um, then I tried the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Powder that I put in here. I really, really like that one. Then I'm like, oh, let me try a Fenty powder. This one is in <laughs> Cashew. I really, really like this one. And I still have this teeny tiny Stella powder. Um, it just says Cosmic Face Powder. And the shade is Haze. And this one I like too, but eh, so so. And so. <sighs> Who needs all these setting powders? This one I completely stopped using, so I would probably toss it unless a friend of mine wants to try it. The Cover Effects one, I will definitely continue using this one. This one actually came in a three piece set. The Cashew, I would definitely, sorry about that, keep using the Lancome and the Hourglass. And I'm just like, why? Because what happens is, is because I really like this one, there was a sale or something going on, I bought an extra one. So I have a whole nother one of these. Everything else I just have singulars. But it's still like, how long is it going to take me to get through all these powders? When you find a product you like, just stop. When you find a setting powder you like, stop buying setting powders. Because then you'll find another one you like. And then you end up with way too much stuff. When I said that the Cover Effects came in a three-piece kit, I, I did want to try their primer. I'm trying to find a face primer that I absolutely love. So I am still experimenting with face primers. I tried today the Nor Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. This came, I think, in a BoxyCharm box. Or was it the... Mm, yeah. I used this today and it smells like roses. Ugh. Why do they put these fragrances in these products? So I will not ever be using this again. The foundation in the powder does mask the scent of this a little bit, but uh, I've used it one time, and I'm not skittish about giving it away because it's a pump, so it's not like I dug into it or anything. So I just need to figure out um, whose home this is going to go to. And I, I, I really liked how it felt on my face, but the, the scent, I'm like, why? 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 Do they do that? But anyway... So I currently, so I wanted to try the Cover FX primer. It came with the set, it came with the setting powder and it also came with a mini setting spray. And so we will see. And while I'm talking about, oh, cause you're supposed to shake it up. I'm like, what is that noise? So while I'm talking about setting sprays, again, I should have just stopped. Okay, once I found, I really didn't like the Smashbox primer water or their setting spray water. It was kind of iffy, but at the time, that was the only thing I was using, so it was like, okay. Then I heard about um, the Ben Nye Final Seal, matte makeup sealer. I have not tried this because, honestly, I'm afraid to try it because my skin is so sensitive. And people, the reviews are saying, this is like hairspray on your face. 
that might peel my skin off. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually scared <laughs> to try this and so I'm debating whether or not to give it away. <laughs> what I found that I did really like and I do really like is the Scandinavia, the makeup primer spray and they also have the makeup finishing spray. When I purchased these, it came with a travel size in each one, which stays in my travel makeup kit. And I do have a video on my travel makeup um, caboodle. It's not a kit. I'm not an MUA. Um, I just do my own face. So I do really like this. And this is where I should have just stopped. But no. Since I tried the non comb powder, let me try their Fix It and Forget It setting spray. What I, the, the one thing I like, the one thing I love about this one, the Lancome Fix It, Forget It um, setting spray is it sprays in an extremely fine mist versus something like this where it's not like rain is pelting on your face but the droplets are a little bit bigger. This is so fine that it almost feels like you're not spraying anything on your face. So I'm like, is it the spray or is it the bottle? Because if it's the bottle, well, the, 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 you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if it's the, the contraption that actually sprays, then maybe I'll just put something else in here, the same way I put the Lancome powder in here. But, I don't know. And so I need to just stop. So I have, you know, setting spray. This one to try. This one I'm not a fan of, so I definitely will not continue using that. This one I'm scared to use, and this one I just like how it sprays on. This this doesn't really do... I haven't found any spray that actually extends the wear of my makeup past, I guess, about six hours. No matter what I use, with the exception of this, because I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. But these other sprays I've used, after six or seven hours, uh, my T-zone gets really shiny regardless of what I use and also regardless of what I use I get creasing like right here or if I do one of these I get creases here um so like, I don't know how these people are doing it <laughs> when they, their face doesn't show their wrinkles maybe they don't have wrinkles but I'm 49 so I've earned my wrinkles I'm proud of them um let me guys know what your solution is to stop buying more stuff I am good with not buying palettes right now eyeshadow or blush palettes um, and my way of not buying additional blush palettes is when I see a palette, I'm like, oh, that is so pretty. I need to have it. I actually take a few minutes and think, do I really have these other colors in my other palettes already? And that helps me not buy that palette. And the same with blush. I have quite a few blush palettes. I just got the one from Alamar in the BoxyCharm and also... A couple months ago, BoxyCharm had the Cover FX um, face palette, which is blush, highlighter, finishing powder, and all of that. Speaking of which, I have that finishing powder on as blush today. I'm like, I don't know whose face finishes in that color, but it's not mine. <laughs> but I'm going to do a whole separate video on that because I do really like that palette. And so I think that's it. What do you guys do to not buy more stuff? Because how many setting sprays do you need? How many setting powders do you need? And if you find one you really like, don't be like me and go ahead and buy an extra one when there's a 20% off sale. Because then you'll find another one that you like and then you're still trying to finish this. But you're using this one and you still have another one of these like in your closet. This is just ridiculous. And this is a lot of money. And it's all vanity because we're beautiful. Without anything on our face, we are beautiful. So we don't need makeup we need air we need water we need food we do not need makeup and so that's another thing i keep in mind too um it's just a want and it is nice to be able to have the things we want but how many of the same types of products do you really want to have if you're not a makeup artist or if you're not um aspiring to be a makeup artist why do you need this stuff and then my challenge is is who do i give it to that'll wear it because people i know here they don't even really wear makeup and when they see all the stuff I have they're like oh my gosh like I don't know what to do with that what do you do with this or I give somebody an eyeshadow palette oh I never used it because I don't know what to do with it and I'm like YouTube which is where I learned how to put on makeup but anyway almost 10 minutes thank you for watching I hope you enjoy the bloopers I'm, I'm trying to get it right y'all <laughs> I have the mirror turned all the way up but I think because the phone is higher than the light I'm seeing shadows and so it's still not this full 
bright picture but let me know how it's looking and it looks like i have eyeliner on doing it i do not but so the light is doing something but i'm gonna figure it out and i'm gonna keep working at it and i thank you guys for watching my videos and you will see me soon actually like in a second because you'll see the bloopers thanks <laughs> let me move my camera back so you can see my face I had to stand shorter, but apparently I need to make it longer, not to stand the tripod. And I am recording in landscape. This is not tall enough. Hmm. This goes no taller. Hmm. What are we going to do? A book. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get my um self situated over here, guys and gals, and all of those in between. Ah! Don't fall. Okay, so on landscape. To see myself, it looks like I'm looking over there. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna sit back like this. All right, I'm gonna put this whole section as a blooper at the end. It is still too low. I'm trying, guys. All right. This, oh, I need to push all of this back and hopefully nothing will fall. Another book. Where'd I put the book? A box. <laughs> all right. Foxy Charm box. No, it's not a new one. I'm trying to find things to put this tripod on. So you can see my face. Alright, this will be a second blooper.